Welcome to Breaking Down the Game. I'm Tyron Johnson, 10 year pro, currently playing in France. With Breaking Down the Game, I want to break down the game of basketball through film study and tips and drills that you can use to help improve your game. So sit back, pay attention, hope you learn something so you can go out there and make them pay. Let's get it. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Breaking Down the Game. This episode, we're talking about Luka Doncic. When Luka was coming out, I told all my friends, he's going to be one of the best players of all times. They all laughed at me. Well, I bet they ain't laughing now. I've been knowing Luka since he was young. I seen him play at Real Madrid, and I seen him dominate the EuroLeague. No college athlete went through what he went through. Playing for Euro, EuroLeague and playing for Real Madrid, it's a different type of pressure, it's a different type of game, different type of atmosphere, and Luca thrived. When he thrived in that situation, I knew he'll be primed for the NBA. Luca has went on record to say that the NBA is actually kind of easier because the court is so spread out. I kind of agree with Luca, especially with a player of his talent, but let's get up into his game and let's break it down from top to bottom. Let's get it. Listen, if you open, Luca's gonna find you. One of his main go-to passes is the overhead pass. Luca is so big that he doesn't even see players. He just looks right over them because of his size. And he uses the overhead pass to his advantage. I've seen him use this countless amount of times to where he is. He's a very fundamental player and he keeps it simple. And he uses that overhead pass quite a lot. He also has what I would call the baseball pass. You know, something like a shot stopman, to where he just rips off a one-handed pass across court, or he just basically pretty much, you know, he utilizes his ball handling and he does a lot of one-handed baseball passes, as we will call it in Europe, I guess. And he uses this a lot because it's a quick pass and it's a quick way to get the ball to one of your teammates. Passing is a staple in Luca's game. It sets everything else up for him. He has an amazing floater that you have to respect. He uses this as more of just a weapon to score, but he also uses it to throw lobs. It looks like he's about to shoot a floater, but a lot of time he throws a lob in the midst of throwing up a floater at the same time. It's kind of interesting. It's very impressive. He throws the ball up so high on his floater because of his touch that you really can't tell a difference when he's going up for a floater whenever he's throwing a lob. Let's get into his shooting. Luca is a dead eye shooter. On his jumper, he doesn't get much lift on his shot, as you can see in these clips. This has become more popular in today's game as it's a quick way to get your shot up. And guys are shooting from a long distance nowadays because, you know, social media, different types of training. It's become normal in our game to shoot from further out. And Luca, Luca has no, no limit on his range. From my own experience, I have started to see that I actually get more power on my shot whenever I don't jump as high. Whenever I was jumping as high and getting high on my shot like a Ray Allen, I would say, I tend to not have as much power behind my shot. But whenever I'm more lower to the ground and more of a pop, my shot distance increase. And I see that with Luca. He don't get much lift on the shot, but it's very controlled and it's very strong. Luca has a smooth stroke. Everything is smooth, everything goes in one motion, everything works together. He loads his hip and the ball goes up at the same time, which is very important. He's not making many extra movements. He's going from hip, everything is translating from his ankles, through his hips, to his elbow, all the way to the top of his shot. That makes his shots very quick, that makes his shots very efficient and repetition. One thing about shooting is repetition, shooting the same way every time. That's what makes great shooters. Most of his shots, he's going straight up and down. He's not landing forward, he's not landing back, but most of his shots, he's going straight up and down because he has so much control and so much balance on his shot. Now, when we talk about Luca's handles, I never see him getting the ball stripped from him. I also never see him do any fancy dribbling moves. Everything is about his handles are simple. He don't really need many dribbles. This is the many benefits of playing in Europe at a high level. 
when you play in Europe at a high level, you can't take too many dribbles because one, the defense is too intense. Two, you got so many other great players out there that you just, you'll be taking everybody out of their game. Three, coaches don't have that in their offense. If you out there dribbling, everybody else won't know what to do because you're playing in the system. And once you're in the system, you gotta move with the system. So if you're out there dribbling all the time, that system is gonna be screwed. But Luca, what I notice is he normally sticks to an in and out and a hezzy. And he attacks downhill. And when he attacks downhill, it's kind of tough to stop him because he's so big, he's so strong, and he's always under control. It's kind of impressive for a young player at his age. Luca go-to move is the step back. Seems like he prefers to go left. He uses the pound step back often. He has a dribble sequence where he goes between his leg, bam, 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 bam. And then whenever he gets up into his shot, he's usually looking for the step back. He steps back when he goes to the right too, but it's a little bit different. He kind of used the kill pound dribble. When I say kill pound dribble, meaning that he's penetrating and then he just kill the dribble and then he gets into his step back. Whenever he's going left, it's kind of a pound step. But whenever he's going to the right, he's pounding and he's killing his dribble and he's stepping back. It's a little bit different. Another thing that Luca uses whenever he's creating his shots is his look off. He used the look off a lot. This make up for his lack of wiggle whenever he dribble. You know, he's not the flashiest of players, so he has to do creative things to get a shot off. And one of the creative things he does is he does the look off. He gets into his shot quickly off of the look off, which is very impressive because you're not really looking at the goal. And soon as you get into your shot, it's a quick glance at the goal. But that comes from work in the gym. That comes from confidence. And that's just come from greatness. And that's one thing Luca has. He has a lot of confidence. Seems like he put a lot of work in the gym and he's gonna be great. Let's talk about Luca's athleticism. I think Luca has sneaky athleticism. Him being so young and seeing that his body still not developed, he still impresses me a lot with his athleticism. He drives sometimes and he shoots a floater. And then he drives sometimes and he'll dunk on you. That's what I like about Luca's game. He's always intense and he's always being aggressive. His fundamentals makes up for his lack of athleticism. He uses a lot of fakes. He has to be strong because he doesn't get knocked off his drive a lot. I can see whenever he's driving, he kind of just guides everybody and he's not letting nobody push him off his spot, which is very impressive. Most of the time that don't happen for guys until they get deep into their career. But Luca is already at that point to where he's making these drives and people have to respect him. Now, when we talk about defense with Luca, it's obviously it's not something you would highlight, but he has good instincts and shows flashes that he can be a great help side defender using his height. He gets a lot of help side blocks. He has some scrappiness to him too. The whole thing about Luca, man, it's, it's competing. And like I said, playing for Real Madrid, you had to play defense. So he lacked a little athleticism on the defensive end, but he makes up for it with effort and being aware. And he uses a lot of quickness whenever he's help, help side blocking. Now I check out Luca game and I looked at hours of film and him posting up, wasn't he didn't post up much but whenever he goes into the post he usually attacks to the middle whenever he attacks to the middle he usually hits you with a combination of floaters or a combination of fakes he's he's very patient whenever he gets into the lane and he uses a lot of fakes that's pretty much all i seen about him in the post but he doesn't post up too much luca off the ball is one thing that he has to get better at that's one area where he can become way more deadly. But right now, off the ball, he's pretty much just a spot-up shooter. He's not a threat. He's, he's mainly just looking to see where there's an open spot and he's shooting. Because off the ball, he's not aggressive. He's not really into the game when he's off the ball. But whenever he's on the ball, whenever he's ball dominant, he, you gotta really deal with Luka. But off the ball is where you want him. You wanna get the ball out of his hands. If you're a defender, you wanna get the ball out of Luka's hands and make him play off the ball and he's gonna be pretty much a non-threat. But he also offensive rebounds because of his mentality. But if you just box him out, trust me, this is one of the keys to stopping Luka. One of the strongest parts about Luka game is his touch. I think Luka touch is incredible. He has a variety of different finishes around the rim, floaters and layups. High off the glass is common for him. 
he gets the ball up so high, it negates the shot blocker for even trying to even get up to get it. Like I said before, his floaters are so high, you don't know if he's throwing a lob or you don't know if he's throwing up a floater. But his touch is super soft, which is hard for a lot of guys at his age to, to finish like that because, you know, a lot of guys coming up nowadays, they, we tend to shoot a lot of threes or layups, wide open layups. Luca can finish with the best of them because of his touch. Whenever you have soft touch around a rim, it's difficult to stop you. Now, when we talk about transition with Luca, it's pretty much simple. When he plays in transition, he's mainly downhill. He gives you one subtle move to get you off balance, then he uses his size. One of his main tricks up his sleeves is the fake pass. Now, let's talk about some trickery. One thing about Luca is, man, he got, a, he got massive amounts of fakes. <laughs> and he used them in a variety of ways. His fake passes are usually used by highly skilled vets. You know, when their game has slowed down, vets kind of use these type of fakes all the time. But Luca's 21 years old and he's already using these fakes already because he has so much patience in his game and he's so advanced fundamentally. This comes second nature to Luca. I love that about him. He plays the game like a true vet and he's so young. It's gonna be scary whenever he really gets his athleticism underneath him and he combines that with his fundamentals, it's gonna to be tough. Last but not least, the best part of Luca's game is how clutch he is. Luca take big shots and he make big shots. He's been playing in high pressure situations since he was young and it seems like no situation is too tough for him. That's what I noticed about Luca when he played in Real Madrid. That's what I noticed about Luca when he played in the FIBA championship with Slovenia. That's what I noticed about Luca as he played in the NBA. At the end of the shot clock, Luca wants the ball and he's not shying away from the ball. He's shying away, he's shying, he's going to the moment. He wants that shot. He's taking that shot and he's not afraid of it. I love that from a young player and I love the aggressiveness. At the end of the shot clock, a lot of buzzer beaters. Lucas taking the shot. The shot he hit against Portland was unbelievable. He barely, he barely had time to get the shot off and he just went straight up with it and knocked it down. But that's my take on Luka Doncic. Please, please leave comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think I missed something. Let me know if you think you wanted to add something. Let me know what you think about Luka's game. Let me know if you want me to break down someone else. Besides that, man, Stay paying attention, keep on paying attention, keep on learning. If you want to get some drills in to work on some of these moves that Lucas is doing, I got it all in my Make Em Pay Scoring System product and my ball handling product on my website. It's tyronjohnson.com. You go to the training se section and it's pretty easy, man, to sign up. Go ahead, sign up, get those products, lock in. You don't need no trainer. You don't need a fancy gym. All you need is a ball and a rim and you could get going. All right, besides that, check out the podcast, tyronjohnson.com slash podcast. Every week I'm putting out jewels. I'm dropping jewels on mental, mental approach, self-confidence, and just tips and stuff to make, you, make sure that you give you as much information that I've learned over the years. Besides that, thanks a lot, man. Appreciate you guys. Until next time, live a truth life and make them pay. I'm out.